<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Let Me Stretch You Out show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, comedian Boogie Beat, the New Orleans representative, aka the Mouth for the South, aka Mr. Come Here, Let Me Stretch You Out. Woo! What a day, what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. Let me just do this meet and greet and say what's up to y'all. Let's see who all gonna come through from me. What's up, LaWanda Woods Griffin? How you doing, Queen? Good to see you again. Kenyatta Carter, good, good to see you again. My Bugettes is in the building. Uh, Anastasia West is back in the building. As she always is. What's happening, MJZ Marie Juzu, man? What's up, Amy Ross with the sauce? From New Orleans, what's happening? Lachelle, Lachelle, Lachelle. This is the meet and greet portion of the Let Me Stress You Out show. I need y'all to share the live. I need y'all to share the live. I need y'all to share the live. Do like I'm doing on your page and share the live. Just post it like that. Do that first. What's up? What, what you said? Xena, what's up? Waiting. What you waiting for? What's up, Zena? What you, uh, you know what, Zena? What kind of name is Zena? I don't know that name. Zena Warrior Princess. QQ. Quee Quee. Quee Q. What that one is? QQ. Quee Q. Williams. Tell me how to say your name real fast in the chat, real quick, because I got to talk, I got to talk to you about something. Zania. Zania. Happy 420 to all of the mother the 420 years in the building. It's gonna be a hell of a day because the trial for with George Floyd will be over today. Come hook or crook, it is gonna be what it is. Hey shit. Ain't no need in going crazy. Latasha, we knew what them white folks was when we when we got them since since Rodney King. Rodney King was the pioneer of getting your ass whipped on camera. And that then we ain't do nothing then and we ain't do shit yet. But hopefully they'll come through for us today. And if if you don't, everybody go smoke some marijuana if it's legal in your state. Go smoke marijuana if it's legal in your state. If George Floyd verdict don't come around right. Light you up and smoke you up because you're gonna need it. You never know what they're gonna say. Guilty or not guilty. They, you know, they might only give them two years or one year or something. But anyways. We gonna push through it regardless. You still gonna be where you at. You still gonna be where you, who you are. We still gonna be trying to overcome. And we shall overcome someday. Yay, 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 yay. What's happening, Tina Ronnie? I'm glad you made it. Lake Shay Renee, what's up, baby? What's up, Brandon Beverly? One of my Boogie Bros is in the building. Janika. What's happening, Martin Van Dusen? Mud Van Dusen, dog, I hope you're talking about the verdict. I am talking about, the, I was talking about the verdict. I wouldn't talk, I'm not making it the main focus of the day because I want to take y'all mind off of it for a little while so you can get back to it in your own world and light you up whatever you're going to light up or drink you up whatever you're going to drink up. If marijuana ain't legal in your state, then say no to drugs. If so, you just go and get you a nice little wine or beverage. And you calm down before the damn the thing comes and before we figure out what's going on. QQ, I still ain't hearing from you. What's up? Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q E Q E Q E Q U. Kiki, okay, Kiki. Ah, why couldn't I see that at first? Wow, Kiki, do you love me? What Kiki stand for? Is your writing? What's up, Maureen Gaucher? Maureen Gaucher, what's up, Latasha Anderson? Oh, Latasha, they read the verdict right now. Let me check on the hell no. Not yet, not yet. Calm down. They just holding out to a couple of more hours, I think, five o'clock. It might be five o'clock y'all time, so I don't know. Having a quiet birthday today. Oh, Miss Maureen, happy birthday to you, Miss Maureen. It's Maureen birthday, y'all. Y'all say happy birthday to Maureen. Damn a damn birthday. Say happy birthday to this young lady who survived, who made it through this lifetime in a, a hell of a journey and still doing well. Nisha Perry, that's why we tell people happy birthday, because you've made it through some years. 
and you all right. Shit, you ain't died from the COVID. You ain't died in the 80s when the crack was out. You made it. You you didn't get beat up like Rodney King. You didn't get. You didn't die in, in the re, early race in the mid 90s when the crime rate went out of control. You made it through all that shit. Happy goddamn birthday. One more turn around, you made it, baby. One more turn around. Bernetta Butler, what's happening, baby? Okay, they about to read that shit. Oh, my goodness. I'm a... Oh, they say guilty. Adam the Lord say guilty. Okay, good. It's coming around, and y'all might be able to hear it. I can't hear it because I'm talking. Turn it up, and I'm going to talk louder. What's happening, Zena? I'm glad you're here, baby, and damn happy birthday to you, Maureen Gaucher. Oh, Bernetta Butler, Bernetta Butler is in the house as well. Zena, Zania, Tanzania, Ambia, Mozambique, Botswana. What's up, Z? Z damn, I can't get that name right. What's up, Carlita? Oh, he guilty, but how much time is they going to send him to? That's what we really want to find out. We want to find out if he only getting three years. Or, or which count is going to be. Is it going to be second degree? Is it going to be... 15th degree, they try to load your shit down when you're a police officer. Woo, they'll take your shit from murder one to goddamn aggravated sneeze or some shit. you be like, what? Adelie, what, what is that? Wait, that means he did it, but he sneezed on him and killed him. That's what makes it, uh, uh, that's what they try to, guilty on all three counts. Okay, what, what is the count though? Murder or what? Uh, uh, what is it? See, they all try to look. That's how they get us. They give them guilty, and then that motherfucker still do one year. You be like, damn, bro, you did get found guilty. You show is out. Oh, my goodness. That shit, that's the part that gets you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be fooled by the guilty verdict. Let's see about this. Let's see about this design that he gonna get in. So, Alicia Red, baby, what's happening? I'm glad you back in with your little top book at, book at, book, book at badge. And my girl Maureen, birthday today. But Felicia Red, you know what? I like to give you a little uplifting and periodically anyway, just because your name is Felicia Red. They ain't never thought you was white on the application, did they? They always knew Felicia Red was gonna be a Negro. You was gonna come in there and be a sister for sure. Hey, Gabu, when they called you up, they was like, uh-oh. They about to call up Talisha Red. Don't mess with her. Her mama come up to the school on you. Talisha Red, if they play with you in high school, your mama was up there. I promise you. Talisha mama came up here. Yeah, Talisha mama. Ooh, you know she crazy. Hell yeah. Your mama came up to the school at some point. That's a Negro name, baby. Talisha Red? Shit. That's the two black parent name of the day. It ain't ghetto. It ain't nothing wrong with it because that's just our culture. But two black parents is definitely what you have if you have a name like T Talisha. Okay, good. He's guilty on all accounts. But in Talisha, you guilty of having two black parents for sure. Amy Ross with the sauce. I'm glad you in here giving this lady a trophy for being named Talisha. See, your name Amy. They was thinking you was white on the, on the application. See, they was like, oh, I'll, let's bring Amy in here. She's going to be a good white girl. She, look at her qualifications are so high. But, 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 Amy, Amy, you got, it's a Caucasian name you got. You black. But you got, you can still get the Caucasian name of the day. So I think I'm going to uplift Amy Ross. Because Amy Ross, you know, you've been fooling white folks for a long time. That's how you've been getting them good ass jobs. You've been fooling them crackers. They thought you was, they sure thought you was. They thought you was one of them till they saw you come in there. They, they like, hold up. You're Amy Ross? Uh, we were looking for a, a Amy Ross. Your name is Amy? Oh, oh, God. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, come on back. You're such a, such a nice name, Amy Ross. Come on back. We're going to interview you now. See, so you got an adult. Post Alicia, they were judging her before the application even came in. Hey, Talisha Red in this comment, baby. Listen, they were they were judging your ass as soon as you put that. They like, uh oh. They started at your name when that's Alicia Red. She's well qualified, but Talisha's probably gonna come in here and smack me and 
Call me a bitch ass nigga something I don't know. Felicia definitely has two black parents, probably grew up in the hood. That's how they just gonna perceive you off the top. That ain't true, but that's how they gonna see you. All right, let me see what you say. He's done. Oh, Chauvin looks confused like there's a mistake. Oh, no, baby, there ain't no mistake. He looking at that. He looking behind him like, who, who did this to me? Who split this down on me? I'm white. This is not supposed to be happening to me, George. Look at him. He getting cuffed up going in the back. Oh, boy, you dirty old racist cop Derek Chauvin. Oh, you old mullet having redneck. Uh, 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 just a neck, uh, trying to step on a neck and now your ass locked up. This is a good stress out time. This is a good stress out time. This is a let me stress you out show. And since this tri trial is what it is, now I can say what I want about Derek Chauvin and then they can get mad at me later. I'm going to get the Trump supporters inboxing me saying that. George Floyd was a criminal and George Floyd he was a this and he did that and George Floyd was a, he was on drugs and he was resisting arrest and he was a big guy and I'm going to get all that shit. But I'm also going to speak my piece. I'm also going to stress out your good, your good friend Derek Chauvin. I already have before on the Let Me Stress You Out show, but... I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him have it right now, Derek Chauvin. Since you're found guilty, you're criminalized, bitch. Come here, let me stress you out right fast, because your old stinking Mr. Burns from Bart Simpson looking ass is dead wrong for standing on that man neck and thought you wasn't gonna get nothing and wasn't nothing gonna happen, and you were just as casual as you could be with your a casual a baby chicken beat having having bitch. I, the way he was standing, he was looking, the look on his face was like an old baby chicken beat face ass nigga. I was like, ooh, I couldn't stand him from that point forward. I've been hating his hair cut, his hair lining and sliding into his back pocket, and he refused to cut that damn hair off. That hair thinner than a goddamn, that hair thinner than a, than a sheet of ham. What's the look, them little thin sliced hams that come in the pack? With buku pieces in there, that little ham be thin than a bitch. A damn a Kroger ham hair having ass bitch. I was like, that old hair boy, you, you, when you get to jail, you gonna be a skinny. Cause they gonna, you gonna have to join the side of the, uh, uh, cause they gonna, hey, Zanil, let me tell you, baby, they gonna do them something dirty in that penitentiary. It's gonna be a rough ride for them. The police gonna be looking out for them. Why he in there? And I'm going to just tell y'all from the penitentiary standpoint, he is that old soggy body ass, uh, ill-shaping form that he have ain't going to be of no definite. He going to get in there and start immediately doing push-ups. You better get strong to keep them big. It's going to be a big old, it's going to be a big old black dude in there with a bald head and a tattoo on the top of his head. And the tattoo going to have a skull and crossbones right in the top of his head. A big black 375. He huge. He's 6'8", 375. He is going to choke little Derek Chauvin and slap that little flat top, that little crew cut, that little thin ass ham sandwich and cut off his head. And he, gonna, he ain't going to do nothing to him, but he going to slap that goddamn hairstyle off his head. I promise you. When he get in that penitentiary, let me tell you something. Somebody gonna slap shit out uh, Derek Chauvin. I don't care if he in there for three days. I want to see the amount of time he gonna get, cause he is a whole pale ass, a uh, uh, mail truck white, a uh, 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 whitewash white. Uh, 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 what is it? he a damn uh, Easter Bunny White. He is a real white ass man and he gonna have to either join the Ku Klux Klan when they get in jail or he gonna have to join the Ku Klux Klan when they get in jail or he's going to have to pick up some serious weight because that little flabby, ill-shaping body that he got ain't gonna be nothing going in that jail. If some dudes in there that been doing them, lifting them weights up for so long, they ready to eat him like the little ham sandwich haircut that he is. 
Oh, I can't stand uh, uh, Derek Chauvin. The cockiness, the confidence, the, with the, the arrogance in which he stood on this man's neck. Which with that little ham sandwich hair cut thin, thin ass hair, I was looking at his scalp. Through his hair. The whole time he was sitting on the look at him. You can see right to his scalp. Look at cut that goddamn that little fuzz off the top of your damn head. A fuzz ball head bitch. Cut that shit off your head. Uh uh Derek Chauvin. Look at that thing that he trying to hang on to it, trying to spray something in the middle of it. You know that spray it in there just to get it that thing. Oh uh, confident. Oh my god. I and his skin, oh that skin ain't shit. Ooh, that skin blotchy and patchy. Oh, that skin is blotchy, patchy, and red. It is blotchy, patchy, red. A blotchy, patchy, red head bitch. That nigga is a uh, old. Look like a old. He look like a old. Uh, 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 what you call it? A uh, uh, a pickle pig lip. You know how you get a pickle pig lip in a jar and the water be pink and you pull it out. And the, and the pig lip be just dangling with a little fuzz on that bitch. And it be the same color as uh, Derek Chauvin. He is a, a pickle pig lip color bitch. Nah, that's what I called him. Now, you can tell him that I said it. I don't care. Share with him. Tag, it in. Tag him with it. Tag him in it if you want to, son. Good morning. Good afternoon to everyone in the eve of... The in the eve of the wake of the trial for George Floyd, Derek Chauvin has got found guilty, and that old fuzzy head, pig lip color, a uh, rutabaga body bitch is setting up there acting like he's so uh, sad. He ain't even sad. He ain't, he, he know he ain't about to get shit. He's just sitting there trying to hold his face. If he, oh my God, I just can't stand him, Donna Williams. That's all. You late, but you right on time for this rhyme. This bye bye Derek. You got them right, Lay Rose. I'm glad you made it through through to the let me show you out show. Come here, Juanita. Juanita, let's talk about this nigga on the side and in his face. Come on now, let's just come on. He, you see how he look? Oh, if he didn't have a bulletproof vest on that day, his body would look like gelatin as he was a little skinny body, no shaping ass white man. They have no muscle in it. No, it look like he got up. Uh, look like he still got polio. His damn skin so little, his body so out of shape. He ain't no damn muscle, but he ain't no muscle bound. He is a punk ass little white boy. That's what he was, a punk ass little white boy. He was just up there with his hands in his pocket because he know the nigga come. And he putting the weight down on the knee. He done lost his balance because he don't have no muscle mass. So he lost his balance and got on the man neck and just putting all the pressure on the man neck and trying to act like he ain't doing nothing. Chewing his gum with his glasses on the top of his head. I said, I wish I was out there. I would have bust him in his head with a bottle. I would have went to jail. I would have went to jail if I was right there while George Floyd would have get, get nailed on. Because I sure would have threw a bottle and ran. I would have bust that bitch upside the head and he would have fell off that man neck just for a long enough time for him to regain his consciousness and then y'all got to come chase me. So listen, that man would, I would have took my little penitentiary every time so that man could have lived. I would have bust one of them bitches in the head with a bottle and ran. If y'all all out there watching the police do something bad to somebody, bust their ass in the head with a bottle. Uh, listen, it ain't going to kill them. You just trying to get them off the person for a second, even if you do, do get in trouble. If all y'all do it and scatter, they can't catch all y'all. Y'all just got to break this shit up. Y'all can't be so passive around here when people get choked out or beat up or done abused. It's more y'all than it is of him. That's why they scared. They put their hand in the pocket looking around because they scared of what y'all going to do. They think that y'all going to realize that you can actually stop them from doing whatever they doing. You can actually stop them. It's 15 of y'all around there talking about get off the man. Get off the man. Somebody throw a bottle and run. Hit him in his head with the bottle. It ain't going to kill him. You don't want to kill no police officer. You just want to get him up off the man's neck and run so that you can now take away the, the scene. Now he is no longer the scene. They trying to catch everybody now. And they fearful for their safety, so they're going to get in their cars and they're going to leave. Come on, it's why not? This shit is way, it's getting way too out of hand for us to be worried about this Derek Chauvin trial. 
Because another time we done hearing about the same shit and Rodney King did it in 1992 on videotape on 1991. On videotape, it was a little grainy, but you can tell that Rodney King clearly got his ass whooping the police ain't get no time. They got clear off. At least this time they starting to give them some time. But they ain't going to get enough time what they need. They ain't going to get enough time. They'll never get enough of what we satisfied with. Hey, listen, enough is enough. The verdict has the people on notice. That verdict had to be that or else it would have been riots and the people would have been losing their mind. I don't suggest nobody go riot, but I mean, if you want to, it's on you. Hey, I'm going to be inside. I'll talk about what you're doing. I, you know, hey, I'll support y'all verbally. I ain't gonna go out there with you and protest because I got too much to lose. I'm gonna have one. I'm almost successful. I can't I can't afford to be fucking around with you niggas over no George Floyd. And fuck around, fuck my career. I can't get my kids off the ground. Hell no. No, 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 no. So I want y'all to do what y'all gonna do and just let me be the vocal uh movement to the uh power to the people movement. I'm be I'm gonna be here for y'all. I'ma just be on the internet for you. Angelique Barnes, you say that's so true. We we step in time and we seeing our brother being restrained and killed. It's a way to do everything. And they, they we just got to start interjecting. We can't just be so passive when somebody is getting abused. I don't care if somebody getting a traffic ticket and they can get they got them cuffed and they doing them dirty. You take a you take your water bottle. It ain't, it could even be a plastic water bottle. And just throw the plastic water bottle and bust them in the head and sound like this. Boom. You remember, you know how a half full water bottle hit your head and sound like boom. <laughs> Just hit that sound off his head. That'll be enough for him to get up off somebody's neck. And and put, they might pursue you, but they ain't going to catch you because you knew what you was going to do. You got a head start. You threw the bottle like this. So you was already ready to run. They going to chase you. They going to have to chase you. They going to have to get off your, get off his neck and come after you all get off his neck and get in get to safety cuz they see that y'all could start acting up at any minute. And if it's a bunch of y'all, then they know they in danger so they got to get off his neck and take him put him in the car and take him to the precinct. Don't just let them be roughing around punching people in their face and shit or over and over. Take a bottle and bust that bitch in the back of his head. A, a, a full, it could be a plastic water a Dasani bottle. Hit that nigga, boom, with the bottle in the head, just let him get him, hey, hey, what the fuck, get him. That way, he get off the man neck. Hey, so and we just got to stick together. It got to be unity in the community. Can't nobody be up there just allowing shit to happen. When you see injustice, you got to start sacrifice. That's your time to sacrifice, God damn it. Now the trial is over and he's gotten the guilty verdict, and we are so thankful that, uh, for that part at least. If y'all say there is no such thing as systemic racism, you are sadly mistaken. And you are misguided. And I'm not going to argue with you about it. So that is just what it is. That man, was whether he a good person or bad person, that man, good person or bad person, that man ain't deserved to get nobody to step on his neck. I don't care if he had a pound of heroin. I don't have, care if he had a kilo of uncooked, uncooked cocaine at his damn house. I don't care what he did. I don't care if he had a pistol and you took it from him. However it is, that man endured deserve to die. He deserved to get his date in court like you get your day in court. Dorita Harris, baby, I'm so glad you're on my side, baby. I'll just be liking to get off all on one accord sometimes. I'm still going to get to say something funny later on. But I'm telling you right now, if you bust one of them bitches in the head with the bottle every time they doing something wrong, they're going to stop publicly doing that type of shit. They're going to try to put you in the car and drive you somewhere where they can sneak and beat you like they did in Minnesota Society. Woo! El Amin Abdullah. El Amin Abdullah, what's happening? El Amin, you're Muslim, ain't you? El Amin Abdullah, you're Muslim, ain't you? Boy, you got the non-American name of the day. That name is a very, they judging you off the top of that name. Woo! El Amin Abdullah, shit. Soon as they look at your passport, they got to look at you for a long time. El Amin Abdullah. That's how they do you at the at the at the passport. El Amin Abdullah. El Amin, you got the Nana Award, brother. You got the non-American name of the day. 
no apple pie related to this name, El Amin Abdullah. This is not an American name whatsoever. It's no homemade apple pie. It's American, it's baseball, no, none of that shit. El Amin Abdullah is a Negro name. That is a name from out of the country. That's a El Amin, that's a, that's a foreign, it's a foreign name. It's El Amino, El Amino Pino, El Amin, El Amin Abdullah. Yeah, they know you about to start trouble as soon as they see your name. They like, oh, got a guy, um, probably an Arab guy, maybe Muslim. We're looking for El Amin Abdullah. El Amin Abdullah, stand on up. Come on up here, boy. I know you're foreign. Come up, come on up here. What are you, African? You're Muslim, Jamaican, what is it? El Amin Abdullah. Show, show the time to be multiplied for show day one a year in the party mind. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for accepting your trophy so gracefully, all of y'all. My daddy gave me that name. Yeah, your daddy had to give you that name. You ain't the first El Amin Abdullah, though. It's a foreign name, but it's a traditional foreign name. People pass judgment on you when your name El Amin Abdullah on the application. That's why we give you a, a, a trophy of upliftment today. Because we, we like to acknowledge what everybody goes through. The prejudgment that gets you, you know, into a situation. They definitely go. Congratulations on your award. Let, yeah, congratulate him. Arthur Hill, what's happening? Cool E-A-D. Arthur Hill, what's happening? Welcome to the Let Me Show You Out Show. Now, I already talked about Derek Chauvin. I stressed him out. I said all I was going to say about it. I feel like we did our justice. We, this is a good day. It's 420. Light it up. If you're going to light something up, light that up. If you're going to drink something up, drink that up. Do something good for 420 just for the people to legalize. For all the brothers that they locked up for marijuana charges and they are starting to legalize it. That's why we support this holiday. Not because you smoke, but because of the legalization of something that has been a bane of the black community. Taking niggas lock. My brother got locked up for a half a joint. He got locked up for a half smoke joint like this and got a felony. It was all he had in the ashtray in the car. A felony in New Orleans. Back in the back in the nineties. So nowadays they done legalize that, and that's a great thing in most states, and we need to continue that on every state. Just let it just so, and take all them charges back off them people. If somebody in jail for some weed, let them out. If they ain't had no violent offense and for some weed or something, let them out. I really want them to let people who had crack out. Shit. I want them to let people who had crack out, and if you had crack or weed, let them out. Shit, they were trying to feed their family. Crack was in style back then. Shit, let them out. It's over. Derek Chauvin is found guilty. Yes, Erica, you missed that part of the show. Let me see Adna Lloyd say roll that shit. Like that shit, smoke that shit. You do your goddamn thing, Adna Lloyd. That's how you be getting so smart and researching. Because you be over there blowing all them trees. What's happening, Angelica Barnes? I love that Charlie you are sipping from... Where can I get one? Charlie, what is this? Charlie, she said she loved that Charlie. This must be a Charlie. This a cup. I don't know where you from, but over here in New Orleans, Louisiana, we call this a cup. I don't know. It's like a sippy cup. It got a lid on it. You can find it at your local home goods or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, and you are very, look at Arthur. Arthur, you coming in here trying to get some coochie, ain't you? Look at Arthur, boy, you better watch out now. There's some baguettes in there to put that purple pack on your ass. They'll put, Arthur, I know you don't know what purple pack is right now, but let me tell you. At Naloy, who you're talking about is so beautiful. She is a beautiful girl now. But she putting something out into the world called a purple pack of Skittles coochie. You know what that is? That's the coochie that is the purple pack of Skittles that is so delicious and wild berry. <laughs> Red pack of Skittles, I would like to call a regular coochie. This regular coochie. Regular coochie is the best thing ever made. God ain't never made nothing better than regular coochie. It's a red pack of Skittles. Yeah, God ain't never made nothing more tasty than a red pack of Skittles. You put that on your tongue. I don't care who he is. Mm-hmm. 
But later down the line, after you got a little more seasoned, after you got a little more grown, after you started experiencing the red pack, you stepped upon and stumbled upon your own unknowingly, unbeknownst to you, you stepped on something called the purple pack of Skittles. You saw that bitch in the store and was like, hmm, that's different. Is that like the same old Skittles that I've been I don't even really fuck with them no more. Y'all, what these is? Let me take these. You bust that pack open and smell it. Mmm, it smells like cotton candy Kool-Aid. Ah, it smells so good. Ladies, you ain't never had no dudes just lay by your coochie and smell it. Mmm. Mmm, you ain't never had that happen to you? Then you don't have purple pack. I'm sorry, baby. The purple pack will make you double back. That purple pack will make you double back. That red pack is okay. It's great. It's good. It's, it's awesome. It's more than good. But that purple pack will make you double back, baby. You going back into the store after you taste these for the first time. When you tasted this for the first time, you say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back in the store and grab another pack of these. I'm about to fuck this pack up. I'll be right back. God damn, that purple pack will make you double back, Arthur Hill. You better watch out. You better watch out. Look at the Lord said, let the church say amen, Boogie. Hey, say that then. Renee Jackson, what's up, baby? I'm glad you made it. King out of Carter said, I got that Sam's Club's bag of purple pack because that's how I had to get it. I don't even eat candy like that no more. But damn it, I, whew, I that's why I try to get these verb energy bars so I don't be eating all this fucking candy and snacking and shit. Order your verb energy bars from my link in my bio. This is plant-based energy. It's delicious. It's a snack, a healthy snack. Oh, you can eat on them and eat on them and they'll get you awake and get you popping like a cup of coffee would. But through the natural powers of green tea. <laughs> commercial break. Drop, drop it like a, drop, drop it like a. It's a commercial break on this bitch. Y'all order my shit from all of my verb energy bars. I hate to call my verb energy bars shit. All of my verb energy bars from the link of my bio if you haven't already. Some of y'all already did. And thank y'all so much. Some of y'all have already hit that cash out. And thank you so much. You know I do an old school dance if I see something come to that cash app right now. Let me just, I know I'm running behind. But I have a little bit of subject to y'all and I had to get George Floyd out the way. So I'm going to have to do this one. We're going to do this one very, very swiftly today. Let me check this cash app. Dollar sign Boogie BLLC. Let me see who is that cash app for me. Oh, they came on through for me. Oh, I can't find my head. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me do, I'm going to come back to the old school dance in a minute, y'all. Let me check that, let me let a few more of y'all hit that cash out before I stop. Before I hit that old school dance. Make sure y'all remind me. You should make some verb energy edibles. Hell yeah, you trying to put, infuse that, you know that's coming. Soon as that's legal everywhere. Hey, you already know. Amy Russell, so. Hey, listen, let me tell y'all what's going on, Lady Chevrolet. This is going to be a bit of a doozy for y'all here. Yeah, I think this is going to be a bit of a doozy. Hold on, Lady Chevrolet. Relax. Calm down, Arthur. Arthur, calm down. Relax. Turn your, get your horny. Get your horny under control, okay? Stop seeing all this good coochie in this comments and losing your cool. You need to be used to this. You need to be used to having good coochie in the comments with you. You need to be used to it, Arthur. Pretend like y'all. Don't get overwhelmed, okay? Hey, listen, let me tell y'all what's going on. Somebody in my inbox, inbox me and told me to ask you specifically something, Arthur. My boogette said that she just married the perfect man, and she want to know what to do in this situation, Arthur. She just married the perfect, handsome, charming, sweet man. She love him. They've been together for two years, two and a half years. Going on three years. Going on three years. Uh, they've been together. They've been married for three months. Yeah. New York just signed up. Okay, we ready. Okay, good. Hold on, but I'm glad you're ready, baby. They've been together for three years, and they've been married for three months. Praise God, Nicole. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, 
good when you came in late. You missed that part. Go back and watch it after I finish with this one and post it. McKendra Hill. Oh boy. Yes, here we go. Arthur Hill, this is the this is what you say. Now here's the conundrum, Arthur. You talking about state. Three years together, three months married. He wants to quit his job and go back to school. He has been the sole provider in the relationship. He had a nice he had a nice he had a nice job and he wants to quit his job and go back to school to be a lawyer. They just got married. Now she got the pay or come up with or some kind of way the bills. Guilt on all accounts, Joe. Oh yeah, we already heard Joe. You late, but you're right on top of that mind. Yep. Ouch, Robbie GC said. Robbie Reason, what would you do if your mate quit his career to go back to school? You gotta get three. He can't go back to school. He gotta go to law school. It's gonna be three years of him no working. He can go part-time. No, he can't. They won't let you work in law school. Did she have a job at all? No, she did not have a job at all. She did not have a job the first. She wasn't working no more because the nigga told her he got her. He said, I got us. Don't worry about working. Just be here to serve me. A serve me. A serve me. I say, trick, don't talk and serve me. You heard me. Y'all remember that shit? Some of y'all know. Arthur Hill trapped. Ooh, trapped, trapped in the closet. She trapped in the closet. And does he have a good size savings account? Yes, he said they got about enough for the last for a year. Oh, hell to the no. <laughs> hell to the no, McKendra said. McKendra, I keep missing to give you your late, uh, Yo, uh, trophy. I keep missing McKendra, boy. Lord, I keep missing McKendra. I think I might have gave McKendra a trophy before that. How can she find a job in 2020, 2021 and take care of two people and pay for law school? Well, he got the money to pay for law school and he got enough funds for the year. The last. We good. We good. We good. Boy, yeah, we good. I'm going to be in school for two years. I mean, three years. But we good for a year. Hell no, he better get back to work quick, fast and hurry. Bobby Davis, he done made his mind up. You done married him. You putting that good to clean on you, and you love him. And he has some, he's everything that you dreamed of marrying. But now he wants to go in a different career direction. What in my DM voice? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what's, what's wrong? What, what's wrong, Lake Shea Renee? What you thinking? What you thinking? They're going to struggle Struggler. They're going to struggle her, Vice President said. She said, struggle her. They are going to struggle her, baby. Hell, a year come quick. A year do come quick as hell, uh, McKendra. She gonna get a side piece. Woo! What you gonna do? What you gonna tell her to do though? She just married him. Should she break up? What? What she? What? What y'all talking about doing? The man said he just want to go back to get his law school. Do he want to get a law degree? Now you know right after you get out of law school, the first year you ain't gonna get too much of a job. You know it's gonna take that little six month period for you to pass the bar bar exam. You gonna have to take a bar class after you get out of the law school. So that bar class going to probably last you probably three months, six months, something like that, depending on how long you need to research and study so you can pass the bar. Six months. Let's, so let's say three years, six months. And then he, for the six months after he passed the bar, he's going to have a job, but it ain't going to be no Because he don't have no experience. He ain't going to be getting a low paying job at first. Then he's going to start making some killer bank after about four or five years. Now, you just married him three months ago. He's everything you dreamed of. What are you doing next? What's your next move? Make your next move your best move, baby. ding a -ling, pay no bills. Woo! 
Dingling don't pay no bills. That's what. Hey, he got that good thingling on. You love him. You handsome. You married him. Now you're three months in. You're loving life. You're living good. You're living good, eating good, loving life. He broke the news on you that uh, in two months, I'm going to start law school, baby. Two months, I'm going to start law school, knock that out for three years or whatever. Order my little verb energy bars from Boogie B. Link in his bio. And then I'm going to get, you know, then we're going to just get back on out and get back making more money than we ever made. Hope said, is that not what, it's not what you know, but who you know. As long as he networks while he has school, it's a chance, it's a chance that he could get a job right after school. It's a possibility. But, you know, that's 50-50. I was dating a girl with the law school. Now, I was, I was with a girl the whole time she was in law school. And guess what? She damn hustled her ass off. She hustled her ass off. She did her damn thing. Shit, I ain't have to worry about shit. Even though she was in law school, she had to stack up her money so good. And she was so good at managing that money and making that money off some, some way, shape, or form. That she was able to continue to make money throughout law school. And did it. Got the goddamn, uh... She got the passed the bar exam with the first time she took it and everything. Got another job and had two jobs when she first come out of law school, working at a law office and at a at a, uh, at a department store. So she was at a department store and a law office her first year out of law school. So she ain't never miss a step. She was just it was just not a, that not that much coochie to be given out during that period. I definitely didn't get as much coochie as I would like to have had. Ew. How old is he? Robbie G. C. the man is out around our age. He is 40-ish. He is 40-ish. It shouldn't matter, but it's he's 40-ish. It don't matter how old he is, because what do it different? What difference do it make? What you gonna do? Cause he's 20, it's gonna be a better difference. It's gonna be more acceptable that he did it because he's 20 than he's 40. Arthur Hill said, I'll be back, B. Where you going? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, share the live with somebody and come on back. Let me get on my other account and share the live. I forgot to share the live on my other account. I done logged out. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. We back. Now let me stress you out. Account is in there. Let me share this live with some people right fast. Where's uh, uh, Juana? Where's Andy? Where, oh, Lachelle already in there. Where's S. Dot? Where's Austin? With Fanchon, with J. Henry, with Michelle. Yeah, let me see where everybody at. Shit, you ain't, you ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't busy. Shit. I wish you would act like you're busy during this pandemic. He's going to be get 50 before he get established in law. Woo! Yeah, so is you going to still be with him for 10 years or no? Because it don't matter how old he is as long as you got you a man. He at, we at retirement age. He try, he trying to start over at 39. Boy, bye. <laughs> Robin Riesling, what you gonna tell? What you gonna divorce your perfectly good man? Now you know how long it take you to get your husband that you like. Now a man or a man that you like, then to make get him to be a husband, then you like everything about him and including the sex. But the only thing is that he wants to go back and be a lawyer. He's overly ambitious. He's overly ambitious at 39, David, to try to do this. But you liked his ambition. That's what you liked about him. He was making that good money and taking care of your ass. For this all three little all the three years we've been together, I've been taking care of you, putting good dick on you, and I've been taking care of you, and I ain't cheat on you, and I ain't beat on you, and I ain't abusive mentally or physically. And all I need from you is you to let me go on to school and get this law degree and accomplish my dream of getting a jurist doctorate. And you don't want me to do it. 
Let's be honest. Come on now, let's be honest. I am being honest. It's a such thing as this. Now, I believe in support for everything, including all rap, because rap careers. But geez, a rap career is different because it could possibly never pay off. See, you can't compare a law degree that he trying to get to a, a rap career that a nigga trying to start at 39. You just learning how to put the words together at 39. You gonna quit your job at the insurance company to, to go work at the, uh, to go sell mixtapes on the, on the beach. That's never going to be lucrative. But when you have a husband and his dream, and he already made good money, but his dream is to go to law school and get a, and then get a jury doctor and try to do some law. He want to try his hand at law. And it ain't shit wrong with that. But that can be perceived as different because in the back end, he could end up being rich. Or he could end up making the same amount of money that you all were making before he started law school. Marriage, ladies and gentlemen, is this is this is the time for this is the time for WWBBD. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold up, y'all! Oh my, lost my damn place. There we go. Okay, we back. Yeah, soundtrack. Hold you down, Cali. <laughs> Cali, Chris Brown, all the city of future. Okay, yeah, hold you down. I don't know that one right off the top of my head, but I know that my research department never fails me. This is the time for WWBBD. Now, ladies, some of y'all ain't going to get no good husband. That's just what it is. Everybody ain't going to get no good husband. But for the ones who do get a good husband, and you try, or you just been in a relationship, you've been married to to him for three months and it's been blissful thus far, you found you a good one. It's a rarity. For him to be overly ambitious and want to go back to law school after you ain't been working and he been taking care of you for three whole years and now you want to get a goddamn upturn on your lip, you want to turn your smile upside down because somebody asking your ass to get what they call a motherfucking job. After I've been holding your pretty cute, freaky little nasty ass down for three, three years thus far, bought you the ring you wanted, put the snapple on your finger that you wanted to have on your finger, I, I voted for goddamn uh, uh, Joe Biden because of you. I, jo I voted for Joe Biden with you. We done did everything together. Now you telling me. That I can't go and pursue my dream because you don't want to work or live uncomfortably until I do so because we 40 or because we 39 or because we 38 or because we 26 or because we 52. What is the purpose of marrying somebody if you ain't about to if you ain't about to put your sac put sacrifice for your take your daydreams or whatever? If this is a hard down dream of his and it makes sense, it, it don't make perfect sense because it is late in life. Or it could be late in life. You too old to strip, but stripping is a not is not a beneficial thing to do. Law school is. If he is trying to do something like that, that is very different from you going to shake your ass and, and do cocaine or, or pop X pills or get on scissor and all the smoke all that weed up. In a strip club, that's a very different thing. Because that changes your lifestyle for the worst. Stripping environments. Not the fact that ain't nothing wrong with nobody stripping. But the environments change your lifestyle for the worst. The environment that you work in. But if I'm if I'm about to put myself into an environment that changes our life for the better in the long run, well damn it, then you ain't in it for the long run. I'll break up with your ass and go be on my own. I still go to law school. And I'll still graduate, and I'll still make my little change, whatever I'm going to make, and I'll still end up fulfilling my dream without your ass. And then what? You just going to be single like, damn, I wish I had a man like that, the one that I broke up with because he wanted to go to law school. He was perfect with me. He put that dick in my belly, but now I'm fucking with Lil Dick Johnny. Look at you. You're fucking with a nigga named Lil Dick Johnny. 
just because he got a little change and he in a career professional to take care of you. If you don't want to work, don't get into a relationship. Because it's always work whether you got a job or you don't got a job. This is going to be the point of the Let Me Stress You Out show today. Whether you got a job or don't got a job, stay there and that fine. A relationship is the work. So if somebody decides to change their profession and it's, a, it's, a, it's not beneficial for y'all financially and you found somebody that you really love and that you really married and you have been married for three, three, three months for better or for worse, this is going to be for worse. But you ain't going to bail out of this whole marriage because you upset about their decision. They have a right to want to better themselves or to want to just pursue their dream, whether, whether, it, be, whether it be rap, whether it be a, a law school, a doctor, or whatever. If they decide to change paths to that direction, your job ain't to tell them not to do it. It's to decide whether you want to be with them while they do it or not. If you don't want to be with them while they do it, then let their ass go on to law school by themselves. Break your marriage off after three months. Go get an annulment. They probably will still give it to you. Tell them you got to go tell a judge, say, because, you know, when you get married, you got to explain yourself. You just can't get out of no marriage. You have been together three months. They going to ask you why. And you got to stand in front of somebody. You got to be prepared to stand in front of somebody and look like a dumbass. Because you, what you're going to have to tell them is this, Robbie G.C. This is what you're going to have to tell them. You're going to have to say, well, Your Honor, we uh, have a separation of differences because he wants to go back to law school and quit his job. And then I would have to get a job and try to support me and him his three years minimum in law school. Three to five years before he start making any money. So that's a separation of differences. So I think I would like to know, man, they're going to be like. So you're telling me that you're leaving your husband because he decided to go try to be a lawyer. Okay, well, you're going to have to pay him one million dollars. Or some shit like this. It's gonna be. This is not gonna be good for you. This ain't no good excuse. You gotta hang in there, especially if y'all got already married. Now, if that was me and I went wanted to go to law school or wanted to go pursue my comedy or whatever it is, if you ain't got it to give, don't give it. If you got it to give, if you can't take care of us, then do so. Because I'm going to take care of us when I get mine. When I get my law degree, you gonna be straight. But if you ain't going to be there with me while I'm going to law school just because I got to quit my job and we just got married and you wasn't working and I was taking care of you for three whole years before we got married, you can't, you can't must up nothing. Call somebody who owe you some money. Shit, how you been, what you been doing this whole time you ain't been working? You know what I'm saying? So no, 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 no. I'm not allowing y'all to, to fall into the path of y'all. Some of y'all ain't hit that cash app yet. I'm waiting on y'all to hit that cash app for the day. Just I just need a few of y'all to come through. Once it update, I will hit that old school dance for you. Even though the George Floyd child was today. And we got a good result. So I do feel good. I do feel good enough to get y'all old school dance. If y'all hit that cash app for firmly. If y'all firmly hit that cash app, I definitely would hit that old school dance for you. But no problem. But let me tell y'all something. Right, win, lose, or draw, McKendra said. But you saw how at first, though, every McKendra, you saw how at first everybody was like, oh, he ain't about to be broke on me. Hell no, I'm out of there. You saw how quick they was to jump to that? That just, come on now, the doors of the church been open. Robbie G.C., the church will let me stretch you out in Christ. Pastor by comedian Boogie B, a.k.a. the Lord, no, I'm a hunch. Tomorrow is a hunch day Wednesday. And we going to talk about it. It's a hunch day Wednesday. It's a Mara. He going to get that degree and get him a white girl. See, that's what be happening to y'all. 
Hey, sup, Lake Shay Renee. A sister be like, you know what? You broke. I'm not about to be with you while you broke. You little know, one year. You was making all this money. You're about to quit your good motherfucking job. You know what? See, you didn't come and talk to me. So that's why I'm leaving you because you didn't come and tell me, ask me nothing about no law school. You ain't said I, I wanted to go law, do jurors, doc. You didn't say none of that shit. Earl, up to, to me before we got into this little marriage situation. But see, now we in this little marriage situation. Now you want to try to come at me and talk about you want to quit your job. After you done already told me I could chill and just do my thing for the last little three years, I've been chill. And you wanna now, and now you wanna come in here and tell me that you quit your job. So what? So what is we supposed to do? Why you, Mister, quit your job, Mister Randy Pierce, Mister Randy Price? You wanna quit your job, huh, Mister Randy Price? What you gonna do now while you're in law school? How long we gonna make it with with what we got saved? What do we have in the bank account? He said, well, baby, then I will, you know, I won't, you know, I, we, I got enough to hold us down for a year. I got enough stack, stacked away to pay for my law school, and I got enough stacked away for a year we'll be cool. Oh, so you wants to get a motherfucker, oh, so you wants to get a one motherfucking year, and you going to be in uh, law school how long? How long are you going to be in law school? You said you was going to be in law school for a minimum of three years. You ain't going to be able to get no job for at least one year. Then when you get that job, when you, it probably ain't going to be that much money. So it's going to be at least five years before you get back to taking care of me like I signed up for. I signed up to be taken care of. Because you told me that's what we doing. And now you going back on that without my permission. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going to have to be single. And if I got to be, if I'm going to get a job, I might as well be single. I'm out. Hey, Amy Ross, she is able-bodied, baby. She just agreed they, what they agreed. What they agreed was, was he was going to handle what he was supposed to handle, and that's what, that's how she wanted to be. Now, young lady, if you, if you're about well within your rights to feel like that. However, if you break up with your perfectly good man because he was trying to up the betterment of himself and so and you didn't want to sacrifice yourself, your uncomfortability to be with your man. Charlotte Jessica Rabbit says they better make a only fan. Hey, make a only fan. Boy, you know he in law school, so he can't have nobody. He can't be on no only fan. Hey, let me tell you something, Shawana. This shit is dead real. When it comes to this money, people get real touchy. More, many more problems. CMG. What is CMG? OMG. Yes, indeed. Hit that cash out for your boy. This is the Let Me Stress You Out Show. I think I just summed it up for y'all real quick. If your man wanted to go to law school and you, was in a, and you just got married to him. Let's go over to IG. Let's go over to IG and talk about George Floyd again. And then we're going to go back into the Let Me Stretch You Out show like we always do. Double dip. Y'all down? Y'all down the road with me? Come on and go with me. Yeah. Come on over to IG. I said it's not far from here. Come on and go with me. It's right over here. Come on, y'all. At Comedian Boogie B. Come on, Lake Sharon. Let's go, baby. Come on, Shawana Shanks. Let's go, baby. 